The chief executive of the hospital authority, Tony Ko, says he is concerned about the possibility of a tough winter flu season on top of COVID variants emerging overseas. This as relaxation of some of the city's social distancing measures may make people more susceptible to influenza than in the last couple of years. The COVID-19 Omicron subvariant BA.2.75 is growing in parts of the world. Together with the rising number of imported cases in the city and the winter flu expected to come into the picture, the SEL government says it must remain cautious. Speaking to TVB News, the hospital authority chief executive said Hong Kong has so far identified several cases involving the BA.2.75 subvariant. But he added the chance of the subvariant leading to severe cases is similar to that of B8.5 subvariant, which is currently mainstream in the city. Whether this will impose significant burden to the hospital system also depends on the vaccination status of the people of Hong Kong. But the hospital chief may be more concerned about the flu jab take-up rate and whether residents have become vulnerable to influenza. Because of the social distancing measure and the infection control measures we have implemented, we noticed there has not been a flu surge in the last two years. This means that uh, the people of Hong Kong may have a lower immunity against influenza. In the last few months, uh, the southern hemisphere region, they have just had their winter. We noticed in some countries over there, there already a significant influenza surge. So we have to be very careful uh, when the coming winter, whether this kind of influenza surge will occur in Hong Kong. Non-emergency services have yet to be fully restored at public hospitals. Co said that's not entirely because of the pandemic, but rather an exodus of nurse anaesthetists and theatre nurses. He's also hopeful the Greater Bay Area Healthcare Talents visiting programs will bring in new blood from the mainland and help deal with the manpower shortage just in time.